express them out. Let's cause destruction. Let's cause violence. Let's cause a large disturbance. That evening of May 17th, as she continues to post, she goes to the Astroscape, and they believe, the leadership believes that she's showing up uh, so that they can return a full refund for her daughter's party that she won't be having since she's in breach of contract. She informs them, no, I'm having the party. And they said, well, how are you doing that? You haven't provided the, the two deputy sheriffs. They know because they haven't been contracted to be here. I provided my own security. And at that time, she introduces her friend who's standing there with a t-shirt with the word security written across the front of it and says, I have my own private security that I'll be having for that evening. They once again, politely and respectively, inform her that she's in breach of contract. Here's a full refund. You're not able to have this party. She continues to become irate and goes on a tirade, inciting individuals to come riot. Matter of fact, at one point, she even tells all her followers and during her live stream that she has money and she's willing to pay individuals to come down and riot and cause destruction. Stephanie Pedroso intended to cause terror the evening of May 18th, and that's exactly what she did. <clears throat> Conservatively, we believe 500 individuals responded a few hours prior to when this party was to begin on May 18th. During one of the large brawls that was occurring, a 16-year-old child was thrown through a plate glass window, sustaining a laceration and causing $1,200 worth of damage to that barber shop. Rioters entered the 7-Eleven, one of the nearby businesses, and began looting and causing damage to the store. We believe approximately $500 between the theft and the damage that had occurred. Public supermarket, the 1916 Irish Club, and Salem's Fresh Eats, all businesses within that shopping center surrounding Astroskate had to close down due to the large amounts of unruly individuals causing a disturbance inside the businesses. Individuals in our community who live in the Brandon area weren't able to patronize these businesses because of the large amounts of unruly children that shut down that store, all because Stephanie Pedroso was upset and wanted to incite people to come down and riot. 26 individuals were arrested that evening, 23 juveniles and three adults on charges ranging from trespass, disorderly conduct, resist arrest without violence, and battery on a law enforcement officer when one of our deputies was punched and another deputy had individual jump on their back as they were trying to effect an arrest. It took 40 deputies six hours to bring calm and closure to this riot caused by Stephanie Pedroso. Six hours that deputies had to disperse crowds, render medical aid, effect arrest, process the arrestees, and call parents of children to come pick them up. Children that parents believe were just going to an innocent birthday party. An extremely chaotic situation. Stephanie Pedroso has been charged with inciting a riot and unlawful use of a two-way communication device. You also see in your package she's been charged with a felony charge of driving with her license suspended, garnishing the attention of our surveillance team. They witnessed her driving her car uh, during the surveillance. She has so many suspensions that it's a felony charge. If you're also wondering why her husband is in the press packet, it's because during their surveillance, the surveillance team witnessed her husband drive. He also has multiple suspensions to the point that his being caught with the driver's, a suspended driver's license and driving is a felony charge. Stephanie Pedroso is no stranger to being disruptive and causing violence, as you can see from her criminal history. 
this sheriff's office, this community will never tolerate this type of disruptive behavior in our community. I don't know if indeed she did pay individuals to come down and riot, but maybe these same individuals will now repay the favor and help her out with her legal defense. I want to thank every deputy who responded to the scene that night and every investigator who worked on this case to ensure this area of Brandon remains as safe as it is. At this time, I'm going to invite our state attorney, Susie Lopez, to come up and talk a little bit about the charge. Madam State Attorney. Thanks, Sheriff. Good morning. I'm Susie Lopez, and I'm your Hillsborough County State Attorney. I'm here because our prosecutors play a key role in keeping our community safe. And let me, how you're, let me tell you how we're doing it in this case. This defendant wanted to cause a riot, and she was successful. She wanted a crowd to show up to cause damage to a local business and to put innocent employees and citizens in danger. We have this defendant on video saying, and I quote, I hope everyone shows up to tear this bitch up tomorrow. Those are her words, not mine. We have her on video saying she will pay people to show up, and she did all of this in front of her very own daughter. She, Ms. Pedroso, is responsible for the crowd that came to cause damage at Astro Skate that evening, as well as those surrounding businesses. This is not an example of what parents, what we would choose for parents for their children. Ms. Pedroso put people in danger. She caused chaos and even injuries. For causing this riot, she will be held accountable. The statute we used to charge her is exactly what lawmakers had in mind when they recently amended this law. This case is a chance for us to demonstrate once again, the legislature enacts the law, we enforce the law. That may be confusing for some people, but it is not confusing for me. The legislature gave prosecutors tools to hold rioters accountable, and we will. We charged her under this new rioting statute. This law was actually challenged this year by groups who prefer not to protect, prefer to protect rioters instead of protect our community. Some of you may know that the Florida Supreme Court recently upheld this statute. Make no mistake, this case is not about free speech. This case is not about peaceful protesters. This case is about rioters. And in Hillsborough County, we will prosecute rioters. Thank God that none of the 40 deputies who spent six hours de-escalating this situation, clearing this scene, were injured. If they had been, we'd be having a very different conversation right now. This demonstrates what happened that evening and our collaboration since that evening demonstrates that men and women in law enforcement work together. We work safely together, and together we keep our community safe and protect our community. Thank you. At this time, Madam State Attorney and myself are available for any questions you may have. Try one more time. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. We do not. Uh, we believe this is an appropriate statute, and it's for the person who incited the riot. Any other questions? Sheriff, this happened back in May, and now we have, if you will, the organizer of this whole thing. What's yeah. been happening as part of that investigation over the past few months? As you, great question. The, the question is, is what's been happening? You're charging them in July, and this happened May 18th. It takes a lot of time. It's very manpower intensive. Once we get subpoenas to, to uh, examine social media, you imagine all the surveillance video and footage that they had to examine, all the social media that they had to comb through, a lot of evidence they had to go through to get to this point, and it just takes time. Um, as you can imagine, extremely manpower intensive, and it takes a lot of time to get to this point. Again, the investigators did a phenomenal job of reaching and determining who was responsible for inciting this riot. I don't, I don't think you could get a better example of this statute and the intent of this statute than what occurred here. She wasn't there on May 18th. She was just feeding on social media, continued to encourage and incite individuals to come, cause a destruction. 
to, 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 to cause a disturbance, to cause violence. She even agreed and even offered to pay individuals to come do it. If, if there's not a better example of what this statute is, is meant to, to assist in when helping law enforcement hold individuals accountable who want to incite a riot, I don't know what is. This wasn't a peaceful protest. Hey, let's go down and hold some signs in a, in a protest area and make sure that they know, Astro Skate, that we're upset. Her intent was to cause a riot, to cause terror that evening, and that's exactly what she did. And now she'll be held accountable for the consequences. Yeah, there, there's a lot of other ways. And again, if you look at her, her, criminal, her criminal background, obviously this is the way she always chooses. I don't believe she's learned her lesson yet. But as parents, they could have used it as a teaching moment. This is what happens when you don't follow the requirements. We have a great relationship with Astroscape. We meet with them and have a collaborative effort. You have to remember, their and surrounding businesses are accustomed to a lot of juveniles coming on the weekend. That's where juveniles, our children, like to go and frequent those businesses. So we get together and say, how can we make sure that we keep everyone safe? How do we design a plan for every person who patronizes these businesses, Astroscape and surrounding businesses, during these peak hours of business, stay safe? And during that time, uh, being strategic, we develop a plan. Part of that plan is making sure that there's so many off-duty deputies uh, and, and that's a direct correlation of how many people will be in attendance. We want to make sure when our children, your children, show up at the Astroscape that there is no issues. If for some reason there's rivals from one school to the other school and we could sit here and scenario at the death, we make sure that everyone's able to go to these businesses and stay safe. She was told two things. Number one, don't post this. Don't encourage more people to come. This wasn't a party that was big and got out of control. That, this was far from it. This was someone who was upset, who was pissed because she was told no, that she didn't follow the requirements. So she immediately got irate and decided to incite a riot. The inciting a riot charges are third degree felonies. Those carry a maximum of five years in the Florida State Prison. Uh, she also has the unlawful use of a two-way communication device and the, the, the DWS as well. But the most serious charge is the inciting a riot, and those are third degree felonies. Any other questions? Yeah, sure. Uh, they told if among the newly arrested, there is any person who is Hispanic? Help me out one more time. I'm, I'm not sure I understand the question. No, no, no. Yeah. Not that I'm aware of, no. No. Nope. Thank you, everyone. Please be safe in the ring.